Hi, my name is Katie and I'm here to talk to you about the color purple. Um, purple is a color that I struggle with so it was kind of like a bold move on my part to make a video about it. But I just wanted to do it. I was feeling this look today and I just wanted to sit down and talk about this look and other, other ways to pair purple. I really enjoy doing warm smoky eyes it is what it is i pull warm i can do a really nice cool lip and get by with it but when it comes to my eyes i just look better in a warm color <coughs> also if you are distracted by my shortness of breath it will be the whole video i just did a long test today and i just really can't breathe so today i'm actually trying to start a conversation about things like that there's ways where some people can pull off colors a lot better than other people and just because you can't pull off that color doesn't mean you can't pull off that look. There are ways around it and there's ways to, <sighs> there's ways to pull off every look in my opinion. Um, I never realized that I look really cool in green. Uh, I have green eyes. You might not be able to tell. I have like, um, like hazel green eyes. So it like now it's like a no-brainer like why wouldn't I think I would look good in green um but my favorite color is purple so I've always for years tried to pull off purple and I didn't feel like until this year that it really stuck I've always bought purple um for example this is my first ever eyeshadow palette that I bought this is the Kat Von D True Rom Romance eyeshadow palette in center this is what it looks like on the inside. It looks like something that I've like loved and abused, but it's really, the formula is just actually that bad. <laughs> um, at the time, you couldn't tell me that there was a difference in eyeshadows. It was the first one I bought. But this pulls really gray instead of purple and it gets really muddy when blending out. And it's really, there are no true mattes besides this black. And let's be honest, she has put out way better products, way better blacks than what this is but it's a keepsake now and I just hold on to it and it was the idea that purple's my favorite color why wouldn't I get a purple palette and looking back at it now it's like hmm, mm, it can be my favorite color and I can wear it on my lips really well I can I can now wear it on my eyes really well but there for a while I couldn't figure out what it was about purple that just didn't look good on me um, and really it's more of the undertone and the formula. So the undertone of a lot of purples out there is blue instead of magenta. Um, I say magenta with like an asterisk next to it. It's just magenta based purples look better on me. So that's why I say that. Um, so today I used the Tarte Maneater palette. This is the original one that they came out with. I used the shades Midnight saucy and purr purr pure i don't know don't know you come up with it on your own um i use these shades i just did a basic smoky eye i did the full lid with the shade midnight then i went in with my crease color which is saucy and then made sure there weren't any harsh lines and blended it out with this transition shade um this is a go-to summer palette like you will catch me with this all summer it's easy to just throw in your makeup bag bring a couple brushes and then over top of it I did a topper so I'm gonna zoom in <laughs> I'm just gonna get really close so you can see what it looks like so I did a topper over my smoky eye so I topped this off with the shade beam out of the lime crime venus 3 palette um I really enjoy this palette and I think this can also be a standalone palette. I just really like the browns in the other one. So that's just basically how I paired this purple look and I'll get real close. I'll zoom in. I just wanted to show you what this looked like real quick. Um, I just kind of tap it on with my finger. Is it seamless? Is it the most, is it the mostest? No, but you get the idea. I go underneath. It's just a nice little topper. You get that nice purple, purple look to it. A little bit of glam, a little bit of every day. A little bit. Um, so I just thought I'd throw that in there. So bringing out another Kat Von D product, I had the Shade Light Quad, which you're not able to purchase these anymore unless you find them at like TJ Maxx. So 
this is what it looks like on the inside. This comes with what appears to me as two transition shades and a, a lid color. I guess it's supposed to, you know, go like that. And this palette doesn't really work for what she designed it for. This was supposed to be standalone palettes that were easy for travel, which in my opinion, I think all palettes are easy for travel, just depending on if you also have like a highlighter palette, a contour palette, an eyeshadow palette, a blush palette, then you start getting out of hand. But if you're going on vacation, you can easily take like an ABH palette and just be cool with it. But I get where she was going with this and it didn't work because these colors, these shades don't correlate with each other the way they should have. They kind of pull different. Some of them aren't formulated as well as the others. So what I basically use this for, I only use this shade and I use it to blend out blacks. So if I'm trying to do a really blown out black eyelid because I'm going to do something else, for example, I'll insert the photo. Um, last weekend I did like a moon phase and I did black and just to blend out the edges, I went in with this plummy purple because it, ow, it's really dark and it's just, oh yeah, bleh. Um, and it's kind of patchy, but if you just are using it to blend something out, then you're fine and that's all I use this for. So if you have this palette, that's always an option. You don't have to throw it away or get rid of it. Those are basically my only palettes that I have that pull purple, that are purple themed, I guess. I always try to stay away from purple because sometimes I have bad experiences with it. Like I had the Color Pop Super Shock, that's a lot. The Super Shock eyeshadows that come in something like this and they're kind of um, spongy. I bought a couple different purples and they just don't perform like I was hoping they would. I could never get them to show up. I could never do things with them and they eventually just dried out and I threw them away. I mean, no one get me on that. Cause I, anytime I say I threw makeup away, I always get, why didn't you give it to me? Like, well, cause it was shit, that's why. This is the original Tardis Pro palette. This row right here is a Mavi Purple row. Um, this actually pairs very well with these gold shades. So if you did your lid or your outer corner with this, and just blended it out with this shade and then use this as your transition and then the golds on top somewhere, wherever you want them really, it's gorgeous. Um, this, for this formula is a little bit more dry. All the Amazonian clays, just a little bit more dry. I don't experience, as, experience it as much in the Maneater palette, but I experience it a lot in this palette, but this used to be my go-to and I feel like this is a great start starter out palette I have a couple of those that like if someone was to tell me their vibe and that they're starting out I, I have a couple but this is a great starting out palette you have your metallics here and then you just have like a whole bunch of neutral mattes I mean they're neutral you got a little bit of cool you got a little bit of warm you can just do a lot with this that you can't do with other palettes and even though this was really hyped up for about a month when they went to Bora Bora and then it just kind of fell off. I still think it's a really good palette that deserves a little recognition. I have worked my way through this purple, purple issue and started realizing that not all purples are formulated the same. Just because you really like a black from this company doesn't mean you're gonna like their purple. Their purple is probably not as good as their black is because purples are really hard to make. Um, a purple that I'm really dying to get my hands on is the Jeffree Star Alien palette. It's got all kinds of purples in there and people do gorgeous looks with it. That doesn't look like they had any troubles with it. Um, the James Star, James Star, the <laughs> James Charles palette also looks really decent. Now I am going to do a very thick swatch of this. This is the Nick, Nick? the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Purple Violet. This is what it looks like. You can get these at your drugstores, which is why I like them. 
this is what it looks like basically put all over your hand it's a little patchy it is what it is you can build this if you'd like you can blend this out with a thicker brush I'll show you what kind of brush really blends these out okay this so it's fluffy but it's also very dense this is the real techniques crease eyeshadow brush I don't use this in my crease so that's a really good one for this and I'll show you my other one I like to use for this this right here um this is the elf c brush why are all these crease brushes but they're not actually this is also a very dense brush and it's easy to just kind of pack things on and blend them out so you see how I started blending that that's obviously not done and there's black in this um but this is these are both the idea brushes for me when using something like this as a base so I'll show you how I use them I'm going to use the Kristen Leanne palette she has two purple shades in here she's got this one which is called dye let me get this brush out of here So she's got this one, which is called Dye, and then she's got this one, which is called Spitfire. Spitfire. Um, I'm just going to show you how they look over top of this. Where these are, I don't want to call them patchy, because they're not patchy. But I personally don't think they look as good as I thought they would. So, there we go. So you see how those are right over it and it looks bomb. I mean like there's no questioning that and you can take one of those dense brushes and blend that out and you won't see you won't see a harsh line. You won't see things like that as long as you keep working at it. Um, so that's a way I would pair those was just put a base underneath it and you can even do a black base. So let's say you're having troubles with more than just purples. You're having troubles with like blues or you're having troubles with greens too, I really recommend investing in a black uh, jumbo pencil. And you can even use, let me see here, hold on. My black has been very loved. Okay, so this one's my black one. Um, you can actually sharpen these, but I always forget the sharpener. I always am like, let me go get a sharpener, and I never do it. I never ever do it. So. <laughs> This, I took a knife the other day and just kind of chopped away at that side so that I could um, be able to get in there a little bit more. But you can take a black and use that as your base. I love using blacks as my base. I'll use blacks under golds. Um, I did a green look. It's on my Instagram. It's got the, the hearts all around it where I'm talking about Valentine's Day. Um, there's black that green and it just made that green look so gorgeous gorgeous why can't I speak today I don't know <laughs> but I'm gonna show you another example on top of this um, this base so this is the Laura Lee party animal animal palette in the shade hungover hungover I'm gonna tap that on. It makes these shittiest shadows look good. You see that? Like you saw how fucked up that looked on my finger. So I mean, that's just a way to make your purples really pop. I think I'm gonna keep going because I have all kinds of examples of this. Um, I'm actually gonna go into the shade Paradise, which is kind of similar. To Spitfire let's see if I can get that to show up I might not be able to get this one to show up there it is okay so you have your fresh freshly applied eye pencil and you're just going to kind of blend it out it's gonna look so much different on your hand I promise on your eye not your hand uh, I'm going to go into the Kat Von D shade light quad in the only plum shade in the plum palette I'm going to just really coat a dense dense fluffy brush 
and I am going to pack and blend. It really takes away those harsh eyes. And for anyone that's like learning how to do smoky eyes and you really can't pick it up, this will help you a lot. At least it would have helped me. Look at that. Look at that. And that's just a second of blending. And obviously you would go in with your bigger brushes afterwards, really cleaning up any harsh lines. Don't pay attention to this example. I had to redo it. Um, but that's basically, you can use that right underneath there. I think I'm gonna try, no, I'm not gonna dip into this. But, so this is the quad and that's just like a simple, easy way to do that. Just blend out a smoky eye. I promise, I promise it seems a little like, uh, I'm gonna mess it up. You don't. You really don't. You get that nice transition from the dark to the light. It's it's really something that's gonna help you and take you to next level type deal when it comes to vibrancy and how dark you wanna go if you build up layers. So that cream underneath really just blends all the way out and then you just go over top with your matte shade and just keep going. The thing about eyeshadow is, is knowing when to stop and knowing when to keep going. You can potentially muddy up an eye look real fast if you just kept going when you're not, when it's done. But I just recommend getting you a nice base with a little bit of color into it and it just takes it next level. See, look at all those shadows. Like those are gorgeous besides that. I can't say gorgeous today. I mean like, damn, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> so if you have any questions or if you want to see any other examples on how to do a simple smoky eye, let me know. I mean, like I can do other things. I can't just do simple smoky eyes, but this is just a good start. This is somewhere, this is what's going to get you going and get you more motivated to learn more. Start with a nice tacky colored base and go from there, man. Go from there pack don't start blending right away okay so this is in 4k but you see how that blended out pretty seamlessly imagine a transition shade on that and it just pump it up just a little bit more and then these are what those shadows look like over top of it like i said you can do that with a black don't pay attention to this this is a fuck up but you can do this with a black also you can really do this with any color it's just i went for purple because it was a purple topic and that's what, if I was doing this, I would have gone for my purple. But if you're someone that's not trying to take up too much room and really not sp trying to spend that much money, just get the black and you can make it work. That was the video. If you're into it, let me know. I'll make some more. If you're not into it, that's okay. I'll make some more. But it was good seeing you this time. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you don't comment, that's fucking fine too. I'll just see you next video, okay? Okay, bye.